South Side Money. I'm your host. I'm sick of it. TV. We're going to talk uh, boxing again today, man. Um, you know, I was listening uh, to, you know, YouTube streets. Uh, I was listening to the Rise podcast. And again, they still talk about Devin. But, um, you know, basically, they whole thing was that, you know, Everybody won't tank, and, you know, um, basically, it seemed like they were saying people picking on tank, you know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out how everybody picking on the beast and the bully. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, um, you know, they mad at Devin. Devin's a liar because he's saying that, well, they said he's contradicting himself. He's, he's saying that, him and Tank need, it has to happen at 140 because it's hard for him to make the way, right? And um, they're not saying, you know, the full aspect of that is, I mean, damn, nigga, Tank, uh, I was at 135 for fucking eight years, motherfucker. Woo. You was moving all around all that time. You 130, 140. Okay, how much? So now, you know, Devin's people are on here while Devin got a fight right now. They on here talking strictly about Devin. So, You know, again, the clout chase is still active, still activated. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sick of it. Like, these niggas is really, really, like, exposing they self, you know, to to me. You know what I mean? Because you all on, on your podcast for the last three podcasts were hour-long podcasts with, you know, Haney Basher. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's cool. You see what I'm saying? But y'all be trying to... Say Tank the big beast, but then saying niggas is picking on him because everybody want to fight him. Well, why do everybody want to fight him if he's so dangerous? Oh, they just want paydays. Okay, so what about the people that we, we the fans, think they can really fight, that want to fight Tank? Y'all said ain't nobody worthy because ain't nobody got the pay-per-view number. You know? Uh, y'all won't take the fight, Canelo and, 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 and Crawford. Tell Devin to fight Jerron Boots. And it's like, my nigga, y'all the one said he be fighting them type of niggas. Other than that, we didn't know shit. Was he at 140? What did he do? He said he wanted to stay at 135. He stayed at 135. Devin been at 135 for eight years. What the fuck is we talking about? Now the fight must happen. For what? It been belts on the line, at least one belt. He could have took Devin's one WBC belt early if it was like that. And he could have been the official WBC champion. Because Loma didn't want to fight him. Y'all call him the email champ. I don't know what type of shit that is, but okay. Tank, Tank said the same shit. Yeah, 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 email chap. Nigga, uh, Loma didn't want to fight him and dropped his belt not to fight him. Gave him the belt, yes. e I don't give a fuck. Nigga, you were supposed to fight me. I didn't fight. Oh, well, but I got official, I got the official goal, nigga. You could have went and took it. You could have took it. You could have took it when he had all on the spirit. He had four or five fights. While he was still his last four or five fights, you could have fought. Your man's in them, tank people in them on here, talking about Devin Haney. Talking about, oh, he holding on to his belt at 135 because he just won't leverage.
Yeah. What's, what the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that? I mean, I fought for the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you niggas ain't tried to fight me the whole time while I was down there. He offered Shakur 25% of everything. He said it. He wanted 50 or nothing. Because that's what the WBC said. That, that's what he could get. So we're going to get to that, too. We're going to get to that. Because, so now, he, how, how, how tall is Tank, man? 5'6". Oh, oh, man, 135, 5'6". Now, all he, all these people, he, he, they, where did he, where did he come up from? 126. Oh, see, now they want him to fight Terrence Crawford and all these dudes. Y'all the ones who said he could do it. He said every time somebody fight, oh, I would have, oh, let me get up to there. I mean, whether he trolling or not, nigga, the boxing casual motherfuckers is most of his fans. So they take it for his word. So all y'all need to quit fooling the motherfucking fans, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I'm sick of it. You know what I'm saying? This man got a whole fight. Now, all of a sudden, y'all got all this to say about Devin and, 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 and Tank when y'all the one said y'all told him to get ready before Tank had went to jail. You was going to send a contract because the champion and the undisputed can't, can't, he ain't worthy to send y'all a contract because y'all so much of the motherfucking big time. You understand? So, uh, you know, if your name ain't, you know, uh, Eduardo, you know what I'm saying, Fernandez, you know what I'm saying, then, you know, you ain't going to probably make the make the cut. Because them niggas is uh, pay-per-view draws in Nicaragua somewhere. You understand? Fuck out of here. I'm sick of it, man. Fuck is these niggas talking about, man? That's right. Them niggas over there on their little podcast going ham. You know what I'm saying? They just having a field day, you know, and, and it's sickening. Bill was trying to get on the line the other day. Y'all wouldn't let him on. So, you know, y'all sitting up here acting like saying Devin and them using y'all to, to, to build a fight. Now y'all trying to build the tank fight around this shit. Knowing y'all ain't gonna fight no Devin next, man. Fuck out of here. Tank, talk, baby, I don't wanna hit, man, that nigga said that how many times, my nigga? I'm, I, listen, we heard it all before, nigga. Sunshine Anderson, nigga. All your games, all your lies. We heard it all before. But your lies ain't working now. You heard? <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Nigga. And then they they get on somebody come on the on a on the dude on the on the ride on their show and they comment and say, Well what what would be the uh split? I mean the percentage for uh a Devin and, and Tank. Kyle was taking them, they said 75, 25. Mm, okay. He said he probably, he probably try to ask for, 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 for 40. Hell no. He gonna, it would be Bill, he he gonna try, really, if Bill, you know, Bill, he gonna, he gonna definitely try, he, he definitely gonna try to get 50. They said, no, they said, yeah, somebody said, well, Bill gonna want 50. They like, hell no. Hell no. It, it, if this nigga say he want 50%, that's how you you know them niggas don't want to fight. If they say they don't want nothing but 50%, nigga, that's a that's a duck, nigga. That's what he said. That you know they don't want to fight. What he what he what he tell Shakur? Hey, this this would be this would be the best, the most money you made in all your fights ever. Interesting. Intriguing. I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> um, because, you know, 
it's funny how he used Shakur, you know, he compares what he said to Shakur with the 50 50 and the because Shakur said 50 50 or less. I mean, 50 50 or nothing. And everybody said he was worth that. And he said he wasn't taking no less because that's what the WBC, WBC said he was worth. So. Devin offered him 25. He said 50, 50, or nothing. Y'all say that that wasn't no duck. But if Devin said he won 50, 50, with Devin still got a unified champ and lightweight, whatever, because you said he didn't, it, he had to have more than belts. So what do we, we need to get the shit clear with, 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 with uh, Smeller B and, and understand, okay, do this got to be simultaneous? Like, do he got to have, okay, at least three belts, some pay-per-view vibes. Um, he got to be undefeated. Um, his dad can only uh, uh, speak for five-minute intervals. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, what? what is the stipulations that we need to know to be eligible for the, the tank grant? You know, because... You know, Dev is just chasing reputation and y'all talking about money and shit. You understand? So I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck which a person who's deserving of 50-50 because of all you banking on is your your backing and who has your you know your support team. That's you get sales because that's easy to do with with Floyd and, and Al Heyman at the at the top of it, it's easy to be uh, a TV star or entertainer <laughs> under that branch. Like, okay, that's what you bring, but in real boxing, all the people we knew had real belts. They would say, you know, Evander Holyfield, uh, George Foreman on down, uh, Purnell, uh, you know, De La Hoya, uh, Tito, uh, you know, uh, shit, you know. Motherfuckers, it was just some titles on niggas, on, you know, on niggas' waist at the time, bro. So now you saying, all oh, you, you just this big draw. Well, that's all you got. Dev got the belts, all of them. Number one contender, you are his mandatory. So it's actually deserving of a 50-50. These, the, 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 the Haney's, they already have, Said they will give you the, the A side. This has been long noted and, and stated. You understand? So, you nigga, he said, I, you can have the A side. That's fine. We give you, did Mr. Uh, sell, the, sell the seats? You feel me? But they've actually got. The belt, and he got it from the bottom. Like y'all say, he y'all had to get it out the mud, you know. Well, Dev got it out the mud in, in the boxes scene, you know. She, they weren't trying to give Dev nothing. They seen the, the young boy coming and pause, and 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 you know they was trying to stop that shit, like. I seen it. I was like, damn, like, I, I, that's why I fucked with Dev early because I seen what they was doing to him from day one. You understand? So he got it out the mud in boxing. Fuck is you talking about? I'm sick of it. You know what I mean? Fuck is y'all talking about, nigga? The mud and all this bullshit. Man, fuck that shit. You understand? So now Dev ain't worth, if Dev acts for 50 50, he a duck. Cool. I got it. You understand? Like, I'm sick of it, man. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, clout chase. Y'all niggas steadily talking about Devin for three days, stay for three hour conversations. Talking about you gonna get tanking, this and that, bop, bop, bop. Man, this shit been going on for eight years. Devin been in 135 eight years. 
So why is you, if you was too little, if you was too little for the nigga tank, quit talking. You've been talking to the nigga for years. Don't, don't you know? We know it's, it's still a you erase shit, but we know it's a history on it. Like you and Devin, it, it, I mean, you know, I, I'm trying, I'm, I'm starting to wonder, you know, you scorned because you know, that was, uh, Floyd's first love or something, you know, like, you know, it's like a bro, you know, just scorned like maybe because. If you hate the nigga, I mean, I guess if you just hate a the nigga, then you can't beat him or something. It's just like, you just going to try to agitate, you know what I mean? And it's cool, but it's just like, bro, we don't need to wait on one fight. Unless you just feel like, hey, I'm going to get that fight out one day, just one time, and it's going to be that. All right, cool. Because I'm about to say, we can, y'all, how much, you know how much money you niggas can make with a, a back-to-back? -back? And then if it go... Even or whatever a trilogy, so you the money team, y'all the money. What? How would the bet the champion and the? How would that not be a bigger fight than Hector Garcia? You and bum, bum, you him and Ryan made thirty million. Or Ryan made thirty million dollars off that fight. Okay. So why wouldn't Devin and, and and why wouldn't that if it's the tank power you want Devin and concede to all the money. We get it. They all want 90 10. I know what you want. I know what you want. Because Floyd needs his 10% off the drinks. It's a, it's a, you know, he need he got this a whole so. They need Dev and them to take the pay cut, which Dev and them should not because it ain't, it's all for pride and reputation. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it ain't like he got to sacrifice for the belts again. You know what I mean? And he don't need their money. You know what I mean? But it's just like, bro, this, this shit ain't hard to make, bro. You know what I'm saying? This fight could have been done, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then PBC or whatever, y'all niggas, they want these niggas. They want, that's obviously, you get, Devin got to sign the PBC. Oh, you signed the top rank? Nigga. What they going to do over there? Set Devin up with, nigga, ESPN got Devin's fights right up out the way. Nigga was, he, he, been, he banged them bitches right out, nigga. Bozo. And, and he told. Niggas, in between the bozos, if it was a fight, which Bobber, that supersedes the rematch, they could have put the rematch on hold. Tank could have came. They was calling for Tank at that time. He could have, they could have stepped up, got that fight, and then Devin would have had to do that uh, rematch later. Or it would have ended up Tanking Bozo, who, however, but he could have, they made that clear. That was clearly, Al, Al, I mean, uh, the fuck, Bob, you know what I'm saying? Bob M, he, he, he's, they made it clear. So, what the fuck is y'all niggas talking about? Why? Why? Why Devin now? After you said you was going to send a contract after Cambosis had the Garcias, then he went to jail. You said you was going to stay, said he was going to send a contract. <sighs> I'm sick of it. The fuck? <laughs> like, bro, I, how's y'all, why y'all ain't talking about Regis and, and, and Devin right now? Like, Y'all at 135. So what the fuck is you talking about? Now Devin and got to fight. He got to fight. Now the fight got to happen. Y'all at 135. And then you complaining about having to go to 140 because Devin going to be wearing too much. So you should be able to be able to put at least the right rehydration clause on the nigga. Because Tank only 5'6". And then, and, 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 you know, 135. So, well, I mean, the fuck is going on? 
You niggas, here y'all come. The fight ain't even, nobody fight, Devin ain't even fighting at 135. And here you niggas got a whole novel about now it got to happen. Man, I'm sick of it. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck is you talking about, dog? That's crazy to me, man. That is crazy to me that this is happening and nobody is saying anything. Like, don't nobody see this? This has been a long, historic pattern. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you niggas is up here just talking about some shit that's basically in the wind. Like Shakur kept on talking about, nigga, you turned the contract down. It was over. All right, fuck it. Now, these niggas coming. And now, it's the timing. It's, it's, it's ill. It's the timing. It's very fucking strange. You understand? Know like, this shit is wild to me, man. It's crazy to me, dog. Like, what? Why is we talking about that? Why? You could be saying shit. I don't know. Devin probably going to get knocked out by Regis. And he ain't ready for that weight class. Or he need it. Like, y'all not saying that. Y'all saying Devin too fucking big for a tank. Who y'all say is the little Superman. Fine. All we want to know is when y'all going to take the Superman and put him in there with other super athletes. We've seen you pull people up from 126. You won then you 130 and then bring people down. You know, we've seen that. You said Barrios bigger than Devin. But y'all had a weight clause clause on him, whatever, whatever. I don't know. I don't mean, I don't know what y'all want to do. I just don't know why you talking about it. And now he got Devin gone. He had to drop a belt. Like, what happened to all of this when Devin was sitting there with all the fucking belts in 135 the whole last fucking couple of years? That's all I want to know. I'm sick of it. Damn. Then I see the one one dude, uh, the show biz dude. He supposed to be some professional journalist pundit or uh, you know, a popular boxing um dude. But it wasn't even. It's just it's the take that I got from him, and that's what I get from everybody. Is like, oh, uh, one they started off, you know, uh, you know, I I, I don't hate Devin or Orville. You know, I ain't like a fan, but I don't hate her or nothing, but. I mean, them niggas be capping. Them niggas liars. Them niggas fake as fuck. Like, like, <laughs> like that shit be crazy to me. Like, so this man, he, Mr., you know, boxing journalist, and he says, basically, you know, with Floyd having this fight on the same night and whatnot, um, which I am heard that Floyd, out, he might be moving the fight or whatever. I might get to that. But you're saying... That if they are on the same night, he said that he's going to, because Devin Haney's fight shouldn't be on pay-per-view, okay? And then he said, but he's going to buy Floyd's fight. He's going to buy Floyd's fight because it's better, it's a better quality, and Devin's fight shouldn't be on pay-per-view. So what he's going to do is buy both the fights, but he's not going to watch the Devin Haney fight. <laughs> I'm sick of it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's the shit I, I can't, like, the, the take on that, like, what, first off, my nigga, you could have kept that to yourself, but how you was going, what you was going to do, but you literally had to let Floyd know. Because, see, I did. I did. See, I, okay, I see. I, I probably know why he, he did that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, this makes sense. So, yeah, I think I know why. I, I'm pretty sure I know why he's making that public. But, um, 
just that take, bro, is real crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? It's a crazy take to me, dog. So, you know, um, I just... Don't see how you supposed to be some boxer to do. You say you're not going to fight, fight, watch a fight. You're going to buy it because you got to as a journalist, but you're not going to watch it. You're going to watch Floyd, Exhibition, Harlem Globetrotter. And then the the the, the, the Phoenix Suns and the, and the Lakers about to play. And, you know, championship, you know, boxing is going on. You You're not going to watch it. What? That's wild. That's wild to me, dog. So look, hey man, you know, it's uh crazy that uh basically, you know, one breath take a beast and the next minute somebody they picking on him, you know what I mean? And then these guys up here they run they got a, a Devin Haney campaign going on, the dollars to him to take it. Then Devin have moved on, like he been chasing y'all for all these years. It's just malarkey, man. Y'all niggas stop that bullshit, man. I'm sick of it, man. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas Ain't going to drag me around. You understand? I'm 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 listening. I'm watching like everybody else watching it, but they ain't listening to it. So I'm saying I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to break it down and I'm going to dissect it every time, bro, because it's not it's not even it's not even funny with the shit y'all doing. And then the narrative that y'all trying to paint in in in, in your actions, it's not cool. You could you can go about this another way without trying to, you know, Blame somebody else for what you're doing. You know what I mean? But it's cool. We see the tactics, man. It ain't nothing, man. Hey, I'm going to get back to y'all, man, because uh, I'm going to have some other topics to uh, touch on. So, uh, you know, we're going to debunk the Devin Haney hate and all the uh, clout chasing, man. Uh, this is your boy Southside Money signing out. I'm sick of it.